Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So now we're Jesse out of the picture. We've got to carry on with our mission. Also, also Wedge, uh, remember, he stays behind uh, to carry her. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Wedge is, Wedge is out too, because, um, yeah. Well, we need someone to take care of Jesse, like the... Like the El Bar Black Bear has mentioned. Mm -hmm. Biggs, well, again, uh, Biggs is, should be already there on the job, so we'll, we'll see where... And hey, there'll be, there'll, be, there'll be plenty of alcohol to dull the pain. I was just yeah. Well, oh, yeah. While you're going through the loading screen, you can uh, toggle left and right to see different uh, bits of information that you can read. Yep. I didn't edit it this bit because I want because I was um, hey, hey, this information might come in handy a bit later. But anyway, on with the mission. We got we got, we got a man down, but we got well two men down, but we got shit to do. Sure. Mm hmm. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. That was that was one quick deep breath. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, one 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 good thing about this game is that even if a party member has left well has left the party, you can still adjust their equipment. So like whether you want to change whether you want to take some of their equipment away and give it to a person who is in the party. Or if, or if, like, when the, by the time you eventually get back to them, you can upgrade their parts enough so that when you do meet up with them again, they'll be more than ready for the task. Mm hmm. Leaves the disc purchase. You've exceeded my expectations. Well, that's what I tend to do. To tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Well, Thanks, Chadley. Yes, thank you very much, Chadley. Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Returns NPCs return with a vengeance. Rude. <laughs> is, yeah, I was like, is this what 13 was like? No, no, no. Lightning returns and much, much worse. <gasps> Just, just uh, be glad, I Leaves, that it's only this sporadic, because I actually never got to this kind of behavior. Although yeah, I, I love did, how I with here, the characters actually react to getting pushed a bit, so it's all the more there up in front. Twibs, 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 I literally have, um, check our highlights of Lightning Returns. Like, I literally have an, uh, a moment in Lightning Returns where I'm talking to some guy, and then suddenly this random NPC comes in, gets in between us, and starts pushing me, my, my, by that I mean my character, away. And, uh, like... I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm in the middle of a fucking uh, dialogue, and this guy comes in and fucking... Uh. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, so, d despite... Um, uh, he said it. Despite what happened with the with the first time we bombed a Mako reactor, we're gonna bomb another one, and hope that this time, it won't destroy half the city and kill 35 people. But, as Barrett said, uh, you know, it's about keeping the, keeping the iron hot, uh, Unfortunately, they kind of have to. And nothing to see but here. Oh dear. But oh Hello, dear. fellow Shimura officer. How do you do? Citizens right here. But, but Shamer has stepped up their security, so we got to be extra careful. And yes, I know, I, I know it's a bit rich coming from me, but still. Baby, you've got a trophy. Now on the town. That's because we're about to enter Chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Chapter 5, Chapter 5. Uh, Jova, it's not called Chapter 5, Chapter 5, it's called Chapter 5, um, it'll come up in a minute. Chapter 5. <laughs> <laughs> <You worry. laughs> there you are. Chapter dog, 5, Dog, dog Pursuit. Dogged. Chapter 5 is one of those points in the game that a lot of people agree is their favorite, for several reasons. Well, I'm gonna be a maverick as an kid. Oh, trust me, dudes. There are plenty of chapters that people say are their favorites. It's just chapter five is where you know people really started liking the game. Although it's gonna be a bit more tricky this time, since I'm pretty sure 
that Simra has stepped up their security since then. But they're not dead. <laughs> the way you but said it made it sound like they died. But Dwibs, Jesse strained her ankle so badly. You gotta do it for her. Well, the Hashtag do it for it, Jesse. But people strain their ankles all the time. But it was serious. It was brought no, on by those different. weird ghosts. It was brought on it's... by those weird ghost dudes, so it must be serious. Yeah, yeah, Tifa uh, is, Tifa, is the more personally who collected already the dots. Tifa, it's the tree. What do you think? No, of course, no one's happy to be there. I mean, yeah. I actually like normally using trains as a transport, but. Uh... You have to sit on there for hours and hours and hours with a bunch of other people who might do all sorts of rude stuff around you. Ah, uh, that, least... that, 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 that's, uh, that's something like. <laughs> Getting a seat, that, that's at funny least, story at least at, at least in a car, you're guaranteed a seat. You don't have to put up with anyone else around you unless they're your own family. You can stop at any time you like. You don't have to wait forever for the toilets. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, Glibs. Uh, here's the, the, the two things about car and train have in common if you have to choose between them. You have to, you know, have to do a long trans uh, time transportation with any of them. Depending on the distance, of course, the train may be slower in the car, but what I mean is, it may take long. But the advantage with the train is that I can actually do something like reading or listening to music without actually getting nausea. What, not only what, that, Dwibs, that's, that's why I take the coach. Not only what, that, what? not only that, but sometimes people can't afford a car. Yeah, but I can, I, I can have a counterpoint. It's also eco friendly. It's, it's also, well, that's because you should read more dreams. Also, I've got, well, I've got a counterpoint to Tia's argument. I'll, what, all the I'll, I'll, around I'll, I'll throw a dictionary there, 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 there. From, I'll throw a dictionary from the, from the thinner part where it hurts more. I would rather we didn't get me started. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> and BRB <laughs> translates to Tifa leaving the party. Yes, <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Jova yeah. that, uh, is. That's the Avalanche. Was Tifa or was that Dwibs? No, 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 no sure, sure, sure. You were Tifa. Oh my god, you, you're still no. here. Don't you see, guys? Be, don't you see, guys? Be right back as code for an Avalanche for your fire. He's still going with this. No, Shiroi. Um, Jova was Cloud, I was Barrett, uh, you were Tifa, and Dwibs was Era. Well, and you, people, you, he's not in this game. No. Oh, you were also Sid if we're counting all the extras. Yeah, well, she's well, she, she doesn't live anywhere near here, so it wouldn't really make any sense for her to. Uh, be so I played. So I played Ooh, the hyperactive tell ninja. Me, so don't you tell me the changes in this particular first part of me affect uh, when so, and how we will encounter yeah. her. Yeah, so, same pool, Barrett. Yeah, yeah. So back then I was playing a grumpy git, a hyperactive ninja, and a walking spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> the clown's like, really? <laughs> you know you're better than that. Oh, wow. see, he cares. <laughs> well, he doesn't want to get Barrett in trouble and jeopardize the mission. Da da da. Da da Cute. This is a thing that started with 15, because in 15, Prompta will occasionally harm the Vitter fanfare when you win a battle, so they decided There to... was uh, already a glimpse of it uh, in the first Dissidia, when Kefka occasionally would do it uh, for his victory quote. Ah, uh, uh, okay then. And so that, that was like true, 2008, I think? That is true. I guess this is gonna be one of the things where, like, when they make a, a battle system that doesn't have a proper victory screen, they instead replace it with Incorporate it somewhere else, yeah. 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 Oh, hold on, sorry, I forgot to talk to Barrett. Although, the, although, this, ga although this game still has the traditional way... Are you um... sure about that, Barrett? Yeah, I'm there, yeah. Yeah, so Cloud's going back there because he cares about us so much. Basically, Jova, when you win in, a, in the Colise a Coliseum battle, not only will the characters do the exact same victory poses they had in the original game, but yeah. you'll even get oh. uh, a proper, exact copy of the original victory fanfare. But, well, oh. shit. Uh... Oh, dear. Oh, man. Hmm. All right, so now that we've established that Cloud and Tifa care for each other as friends, sorry, Jova, we've got a little issue right now. Girl over here. So yeah, in the original, the characters just needed to run away before the soldiers actually arrive in here. No, we're just sending drones uh, literally to the trains. So let me get this straight. 
because not only Shira knows literally everything about your personal life, you know, thanks to your IDs, but if you don't match the description, they will literally send drones crashing into the train car to shoot you on sight. That's the <laughs> Shinra methodology. Yes, Who uh, wants to live in Midgar? It's it, it's it, uh, uh, you can't move anywhere else. There should be a literal point where you argue, maybe the ex the a better technology doesn't really fit me. Maybe I should go live in Rocket Town or something. I hear mm -hmm. Wu-Tai is good this time of summer. Yeah, but, well, but Joe, Bab Joe Bab everyone here hates Wu-Tai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Jova, the, the hate for Wu-Tai is very strong in this modern Midgar. Similar to Avatar The Last Airbender, there's a lot of propaganda See, in Shinra is kind of like the imperialist faction against the more traditional the one. So they pretty which, much made which... Midgar bossing say. In yeah, a sense. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're, pro they're probably going. Which means that my theory, original theory was probably going to be correct. They're going to make both Yuffie and. But ah, uh, look. But I and their respective yeah. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to make that stuff a bit. Wow, but Tifa, anyway, did you um, just punch barehanded a uh, mech? But, but anyway, guys, um, oh, look at that. Even though the guy's working for the enemy, she doesn't want the guy to die. She just wants to kill him herself. I mean, to. um. To you know, make sure that there are no unnecessary casualties. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, in the original game, Wutai is never actually mentioned via dialogue uh, until Yuffie comes into the picture. Uh, but in here, they mention it a lot, which indicates yeah. to me that they're po they're most likely going to make it a bit also this It's also the approach it. Uh, the mere, the, the brief mentioning were just about the war, without even specifying the name of the town. Uh, like Cloud's father fought in it and died, the safe drop was a trump card in it, and blah blah blah. Um, but the TV itself, yes, it was important here. It's taken from before Crisis uh, and about the fact that Avalanche actually did add some fun founding. Uh, the, the original Avengers had some, yeah, event, some funding from Wu Tai. It makes sense. Like, uh, like uh, Vincent in particular should have never been an optional character to begin with. I uh, guess then... the idea was like, well, oh. Vincent was like Oof. an extra. Uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, Tifa, now uh, please move well, on. Well, Joby, here's the thing. I can understand that for Yuffie, but for Vincent, uh, Vincent's story is incredibly important for to make to piece everything together. So I just find it funny how they gave yeah. one of the optional characters his own video game. Well, they did. But, really but, um, there's, there's but anyway, that that okay, I should, I should explain this level. Um, throughout, throughout the rest of this part, I believe, we're going to have to fight out of the uh, train tunnel. And how we do that is that we're going to come across these guys every so often. So um, if you have a materia that will um, take down these guys faster, then good. Um, unfortunately, I um, didn't, so um, I'm gonna have to slug it. That's because Barrett has the lining material, and you probably don't know how to swap it between the characters. To I be fair, we to, don't. I forgot to do it. <laughs> all right, just follow me, Tifa, and we should be all right. Some more heroic but, um, remix but, of although, the tension theme. Okay. Although, although to be fair to you, my characters are strong enough level-wise to be able to take the enemies out with a little issue. Oh, ho, ho. smart move there. But uh, here's the big change. Uh, yeah, in this remake, a bit similar to how the, it was at the beginning. Oh, this is actually the point where I, where John DiMaggio's impression starts to crack. Oh, snap. We're going up against Bender. Speaking of which, where's the third? I don't know, but his, yeah. voice, uh, his voice is not all like uh, his voice for Bender, so it's, I think... Uh... It's literally Bender's voice actor is the point. No, 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 I, I get that, but that's the point. It's that, it, that it's just to keep, he's struggling a bit to keep a consistent tone with the, with the impression. I think mine and is a joke that Marcus Phoenix went evil is um, is more appropriate. Well, but anyway, um, so different yeah, jokes for different folks, mate. Nice so anyway, as was as was established, um, Heidegger is now voiced by John DiMaggio, who was in a Final Fantasy game before. He voiced that um, that wacky guy in um, Final Fantasy X. God, oh, what's actually, his name? Actually, actually, Dweebs, uh, first of all, he had two roles, Final Fantasy X, one is Waka and the other is Kimari, 
that is also mostly known for being the voice of Gilgamesh in Final Fantasy XII and XIII too. For some reason, Square keeps alternating him and Kate Zrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrzrz
I think actually it was one of the first things that Tabata did at Square. Well, I was comparing this, I was comparing it to Kingdom Hearts. You know, that was his own. Honestly, it leaves, uh, uh, the, the problem with Kingdom Hearts continuity is not exactly that it can be kept straight. It's more the fact that it just keeps piling questions more than anything. It well, does, it doesn't, it doesn't well, magically also... erase titles from before, and it just adds more. Well, it does have happened. the problem of not being able to be kept straight too as a birth by sleep. Very good. As Barrett said, uh, you need to, sp to spot, to uh -huh, spot the dog. Yes. And, and, and yeah, and even better, even better is is is, is, not, is it's enough um, that it's enough that Kingdom Hearts had one guy who can't keep his story straight. This game has two guys who have an issue with keeping stories straight. Don't you see though? Don't you see though? One. Don't you see though? A negative what times. The, what about the other director and the other co-director and Ojima? Well, I said two. Well, yeah, and I'm saying four. I, I don't know when, about the third one. Oh, actually, please, let me quote uh, Elsinga Bridge. When you see two, I see four. Not and to mention that I've been through this. Toriyama's not involved with any of the writing. He's only directing the cutscenes. Well, technically, wouldn't that involve writing if he's involved with the cutscenes? No, directing and writing are two completely different things. Well, I it's know a, that, obviously, but I, I, guess, I mean, obviously, I he has to oversee it. The, the, the storyboard is presented to him and he's saying how the scene needs to be unfolded while though he doesn't have the power to actually change, uh, you know, how it will unfold. Cloud, admittedly, I, I, admittedly. Cloud needs to go from point A to point B. He, Toriyama can't let him do, you know, do C, D or, or A actions. Basically, if Toriyama thinks okay, that Tio, I get it. lightning suddenly show up in here, he can't, because there's a script. Unl unl script unless the script on. evolves it, so that's, that's what I mean. True, yeah. true, 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 true. I mean, and you know what, to be fair, Toriyama is capable of good stories too, so it's not like including him would be an immediate death sentence. I don't know, again, I don't know much his contribution overall to it, but since he occupied a prominent position of it, I had to assume it had, but I can, gu I can guarantee you that Mobius, uh, story was actually really good. As so, was Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. Uh, again, I, on that one instead, Jova, I agree only halfway through because that one still has... Uh, no, Revenant with, Wings. Not, Revenant not, not, Wings. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Jova. Rem remember, Jova, the entire subplot where the human incarnation of Odin wants to bang Penelo. Well, that's just Final Fantasy being weird. It's not the first time Honestly, no, Jova. Like it, it actually really fits with Toriyama's kinks. So. Oh yes, 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 yes. It fits with his kinks, but it's not the first time Final Fantasy did something weird and well, godly like that. Oh, there well, it is. Oh. Well, hope, well, hopefully it didn't get too squicky, considering, you know, no, you have to work it, with it, the DS. No, actually, yeah, that's the, that's the actual thing. We, oh, hold on, I mentioned after this. Uh, Cute. Oh, just yep. hold the nose. We're using the power of Doggy to um, get us to our goal. Honestly, the design was spot and everything. The fact we use for military propaganda, it actually reminds me of a North Korean cartoon, uh, Squirrel and something else, uh, but still going on to these days. <laughs> My yeah. God. Uh, what Saber Spark review? It's a riot. Yeah, but, I, I, uh, I've already seen it. But, uh, I had Jungle and Squirrel, that's what it's called. No, um,. What I was mentioning is, the, f the thing is that leaves, uh, the fact that it's on the ass, it's a major detriment of Revenant Wings, because aside from the character portrait, the actual in-game graphics are kind of bad to look at. It's all, it's a bit too much pixelated, even for the standards of ADS, unfortunately. Oh no, a nest! What does this mean? Is this the third Resident Evil remake? And by no, that I mean big... like the third of the modern ones, basically. No, unfortunately, Shinra can't seem to actually clean their fucking tunnels. We just let monsters, you know, take their webs and shit. Why, why are you? If I, if I were a health, if I were a health inspector, I'd give this a solid. One. If you You're survived. Generous. Well, around here we have think, think cars go from like at worst to zero. Again, I hope the health inspector survives to tell the tale. Um, well, it's interesting, Jova. Um, <laughs> I found... Well, okay, I got in... Well, actually, um... Oh, oh dear. Um, uh, I, found, I found out the most tragic news. The health inspector did not die, but something far worse happened. He was implanted, wasn't he? It was, it was actually he ate a bite the bite of the monsters. Yeah, he was eaten by the monsters, and then, um... And then he was, and then he was slowly 
digested over the next five months. Well, at least he wasn't impregnated by one of them. Trust yeah, me, that... when, when you see aliens, that, that doesn't go well often. Yeah. No, Cloud, go back. You still got those boxes to sort out. Also, also, you gotta love. Also, you gotta love Cloud, this web. No, your <clears throat> also, you gotta love this webbing here. Strikes on the Buster Sword. Ha! They can shrug that off, but careful yanking on them. That'll make them rip like tissue paper. <laughs> well, maybe no one would have thought. Maybe they were hoping that no one would think. Huh. And he's slashing it won't work. Maybe pulling it apart with my hand will be better. Too bad they didn't know that us spiky-haired protagonists tend to think outside the box. It actually, it actually reminds me a bit of um, in uh, in Gears 4, where whenever there's a, a bunch of little goo uh, by the swarm, you can choose to either use the saw to saw through it, like you would normally do in the original games, but you also have the ability ah. to slice it, slice it with a knife. I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just that uh, it's just that I find it weird. Why would they are? Why would they add that extra option? I would have went to the trouble of it. Like if somebody's doing a knife-only run, I guess. I forgot to see the purpose of that. <laughs> Whatever. But the mask. Uh, let me yes. let, hold on, Trevor. Let me ask. Uh, uh, so, like, it's the knife an actual weapon, like in no, Resident Evil? No, no, it's entirely for the purpose of cutting those parts if you want to. But that's it. You can just use the the, the chain. You can and just the, use the lancer and the like train, you usually yeah, do. Yeah, and the chainsaw mechanical lancer is left untouched. It doesn't like consume yes. fuel or anything. No, so, no, 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 no. So there's literally, yeah, I honestly agree with Pedro, Trevor. There's literally no reason. To actually, you I mean, know, the, the, have the not, not, It doesn't make the game any worse for it, though. Don't get me wrong. It's just that why would you go to the trouble even adding this? Actually, I forgot, Pedro. What year was uh, years of four at least? Uh? 2016. Hmm. Sweet. No, it's still a bit too I, later. I could have sworn, I I sworn the knife was a weapon, but I'm probably just mixing that up with a Resident uh, Evil well, title. Is it actually I used in cutscenes or anything? Uh. For one particular thing at the end, Jova knows what I mean, but yeah. uh, but that, but that's about it, really. I mean, oh wait, 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 oh, wait, uh, wait, oh wait, I get wait, it now. Cloud, Cloud, where are you going? Maybe it's used uh, to foreshadow that one, Dwibs. Why are you trying to attack the nest? I thought I had to slash it I to get through. Without spoiling anything, Jova, I failed to realize how uh, the characters isn't gonna have to slice webs and goo. Somehow foreshadows what. What happens at the ending of to be honest. Something has... something something pretentious writing suggesting oh, that on, this was all Sorry, hinting guys, at it um, all along. And then we got I an guess. important mission and then we need to sit down. Mm-hmm. Mind you, Pedro, okay, you're usually the psychologist when it comes to picking apart why people do stupid things in game design, so... Oh, I do, I do, I do love doing that, uh, but as demonstrated by Fair Fence Ref, I... Are those uh, sometimes even I am baffled, and yeah. that's why I normally have to step in, Jova. But uh, but no, gotta be honest with the information that I have right now. Oh, look at that! She uh, is actually cleaning his, his own its own shit up. Mind um, you, they're yeah, doing but, a half-hearted um, job of it. Yeah, but um, yeah, but but but, uh, but guys, they're um, they're evil and they're in the way, so they gotta go. I think I think I think the profession of flame throwing away a, a, a nest of cobwebs from a subway qualifies as much as degradating as those people who sign up for gardening but are forced to actually like trim uh, some bushes but like in the middle of highways love, um, like in the middle of nowhere and we have to go there at 6 a.m. in the morning to do that. I love, I love one of the guards who was like, "How did you get in here?" Uh, I took we the stairs her... Allow me. and got through your existence security. Pardon me, officers. We just let ourselves in after taking out a lot of the pest control. <laughs> I mean, you asked. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I got them in my... Right here, at the end of my sword. <laughs> also, Teo, I don't know. You, 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 you... I didn't... You were just as baffled when, uh... The PS... The original PS3 version of Fair Refs. Still shrugged like hell despite the Neptune trilogy not. Well, uh, I, uh, like you yourself, you said for yourself, I too have my limits still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where I come in then. Alright, Java, come up with a reason then. For oh, what? Does it make oh, any sense? Hi, oh, guys, hide again. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Yes, more failures. <laughs> report, report, report. What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? And that's why I don't hire you for thinking. An enemy spared is an enemy who 
Yeah, some annoying ninja is leading the charge against us. Just to remind you that the, the war we will taste treated just exactly like the war between America and Japan in World War II. See, now, whereas Wutai okay. in the original game was sort of something vaguely hinted at here, um, in the remake, they use it not only for propaganda to rouse people against certain factions here and there, but let's just say Wutai is more drawn up on in the remake. Also, certain factions, Jova, I think their mindset is um, any faction that isn't their own. <laughs> Oh, hi, Digger! You are such a genius after all! <laughs> yes, um. They certainly the... kept the annoyance in the laughter. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, John DiMaggio doing an evil laugh. Yeah, that, um, that helped make my day. He is well, absolutely the no has newbie to, to that. Be annoying, so. Yeah. Mm. Well, Jova, like I said, like, by all means, me and Cheo are bad, also by all means, come up with an explanation. After making free Neptunia games on the PS3, somehow <laughs> Preference RF. Have terrible frame rate like we've saw in our playthrough. It, it, so. it has the same engine, the same structure for B anything. Team. But on account of Java, it shouldn't. Well, it's not. I guess. Went through this Java. It's not the B team. It's the it's the it's the same thing that made the Neptunia game. Even I'm so, Java. This. Even so, Java. It wouldn't make sense. Because, think about it. A game like Metal Gear Survive, which is done using the Fox engine by a team of people who were not really familiar with the previous Metal Gear titles, still managed to tech technically speaking, function like that. Okay, there is so, a chance that they may have been using a different engine for that game, despite different using the build, same gameplay. I guess. I don't know. It, it's, it feels stretchy still. I don't know. The way I theorize is like, well, they were probably using a different engine, even though, the, even though a lot of it was similar gameplay here. The most likely reason would be that they were using a faulty engine. I mean, the only real possible maybe reaching explanation I can naturally think of is that the game was rushed as fuck. But so was it. But, so but so are all of their games. Uh, well, okay, okay, okay. Neptunia came from, you know, the roots of which they knew what they were doing. Fairy Friends Ref was something completely new. Well, also, in, in I, I story do, anyway. I actually, I actually do wonder if it may be the same also for the original PS3 Japanese version because NAS America does also has a tendency of lo when localizing some stuff uh, to actually fuck up the code somehow. I don't know how. But anyway, so Dweebs, uh, I guess we'll continue taking the, the subway tunnels in the next part. Yes, albeit um, not as safely as you would normally do other subways. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah. See ya. Yeah. See ya.